Okay, so there's no... Hello? I think... Yeah, I thought, I thought so. Didn't say, any, didn't say the path was blocked, but... Okay, 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 okay. Let's. Okay, that's nice. That's nice, that's nice, nice, nice. Uh, let's go ahead and... Oh, you're gonna do magic damage instead, aren't you? That's unfortunate. Um. I wish I could jump. Target is blocked. Yeah, he's doing he's doing magic damage. That's not what I want. Oh. Oh, this fight is going to be extremely rough. How much damage? Oh. Ye oh. that and we'll shackle There's that skill. And then there's you, however.
Oh, he's at he's set for decaying. Oh, that was I should have paid attention to that. Whoopsies. Frozen, really? Oh, you tell me that. Now. Oh, oh, he res from the. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay. You know what? I think that worked. I think that's helpful. Or not. Oh my god. Oh, that works. I need to take care of him, so we'll go ahead and... Okay, 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 okay. Oh, nice. Well, there's really nothing I can do, so, uh... Okay, okay. This is going great. 
This is going great. Um. Oh, okay. This is going great. So this is the point in time where I kind of wish I could get him up here. They are really hammering after. Okay. So, what are you going after now? That thing just... Uh. First eyes, huh? Well, I can't say he didn't go after somebody else, that's for certain. Okay, so then what do I do? because he's too close. Are they gonna die again? God, I hope not.
<clears throat> I mean, to stun, disease, infect, decay, and shock. You're, uh, you have, oh, okay, so fire. Well, since you're right in front of me. Um, okay, we're no longer raged, but that's fine. Path is interrupted. Because of that damn... That's right, he has a hammer now. Ha <laughs> ha! And he's cursed. Uh, they are just oh huh, that's okay He has nowhere to actually go. Uh. 
Oh, sorry. Didn't, mean, didn't think it was that close. We got it. Thirty percent key, huh? huh? Not bad, not bad. Quite right. Do seek Mike. A horrified fisherman stares at the water, muttering to himself. That was terrifying. I need to get myself a new line of work. Something as far away from the water as I can go. Goat herd. High on a mountain. Spice trader in the deserts. Any if the missus will go for it, of course. She likes the beach. Uh no, I found the ring. You found it? How wonderful. The wife will be thrilled. Or she would if she ever found out about this, which of course she won't. But I can't think of the ring onto his finger where it dangles loose. I feel better already. I need to fatten myself up again so I don't lose it a second time. Can't be relying on the kindness of strangers to dig me out. The very best to you. I wish you well. With a new confidence in his stance. Yes. Ramos the Wanderer. He's a legend among lizards, the greatest dreamer of them all. The one that has mastered the dark of horror sleep and has found sanctuary amid its horrors. Yeah. Well, uh, what is, uh, ask what horror sleep is. The most inhospitable plane imaginable. A realm of insanity and death beneath a starless black. Picture a maze filled with your greatest fears. Picture haunting that maze forever. That is but the first step into horror sleep. I uh, wonder why this dreamer or whatever venture into this. Because place. if one braves the absolute terrors of nightmare and finds sanctuary there, one is safe even from the void. That's right. Horror sleep is a realm feared by the cosmic menace that is the void. Ideal location for a summer house. He sighs, rather dramatic. Oh, perhaps that's because I don't quite enjoy broaching the subject. If I must. The long and short of it is that I was banished because I was found in bed with a demon. A de how, uh, how in all the hells did he end up with a demon in his bed? Because I invited her in, of course. How else? You clearly have a hard time understanding all this, so let me paint you a picture. I am a prince of the House of War. There are others with that title, but none of them are the Red Prince. The jewel in the crown of the Empire. I lived in the Forbidden City, a vast complex of palaces that houses the royal family and its servants. No others are allowed to enter it. As for myself, I was never allowed out. That is the price I paid for my genius. I was too valuable to be exposed to the dangers of the outside world. All the wars I won, and I won them all, of course, I won from the comfort of sofas. 
Bring me information, and I will deduct, then instruct. From amid the ultimate opulence of my quarters, I expanded and very much ruled the Empire. I had it all, and frankly, I got bored. Or a while, while untold millions would trade places with him in the heartbeat. You miss the point. I did not suffer the boredom of some spoiled brat. Mine was the absolute absence of challenge. The longing not simply to watch the horizon, but to journey towards it. If I could not experience the joys of the world beyond, I had to bring the world to me. Hmm. Miraculous what a sorcerer can do with a little arcane lore. I summoned demons, the most dangerous game in the world. But they knew they met their match in me, and so we conversed. We drank wine, we played chess. Converse with demons, and you learn of the shadows behind creation. Drink wine with them, and you have visions of worlds beyond worlds. Play chess, and you know that one wrong move is certain death. My mind rejoiced. Now for the body, I reasoned, so with a certain succubus, I spent nights that would surpass your understanding. Get over and say that actually is good. So you do comprehend. I spent a whole year in the company of demons, every night atop the white library tower of my palace. It was my great study of existence. It was my supreme joy, even if. Uh, led to your downfall? Yes, even if it led to my downfall. What happened next was simply unforeseen. One moonless night, the succubus that was my lover turned to me, fangs exposed. But I could tell from the glint in her eyes she wasn't bent on our usual fang play. There was no light in that glint. It was the darkness of the void, the wet darkness of spilt blood. And in short, I was afraid. I tried to move away, but it was too late. She was upon me. She, she had done it. She had outmaneuvered the Red Prince. Finally, I was vanquished. So, what happened next? The Red Prince was vanquished. Who is he? The Red Prince, evil twin? How witty. Perhaps if I had a moustache to twirl, but... No, you can rest assured I'm quite unique. Of course, there's... No, but never mind that now. Now, where was I? Ah, yes, she went for my neck, quick as a charging cobra, but then suddenly it's as if time ground to a halt. Something deep inside me welled up, a power I never knew I had. She simply froze under my stare. Then she screamed. A scream so abhorrent, its ripples caused birds to fall dead from the sky. People covered their ears in vain as they went insane. The Imperial Guard forced itself into my chambers and found me with the succubus still on top of me. I believe the phrase is, caught red-handed. Um, ask him how royalty finds life on the First, road. First, I admit it was all rather tiring. I was, after all, marched out of my own empire, and I've been hounded by the odd assassin ever since. After that came the indignity of the collar and incarceration. But ever since we decided to be so bold as to bid our farewell to Fort Joy by any means, it's all been rather fun. Oh, I could complain about the food and the lodgings and the sheer barbarity of the common folk. But in truth, all of that fits within the larger frame that is adventure. Adventure is precisely what my life was missing. Yes. It's good to hear him taking such a liking to the road. Yes. As long as that road eventually leads all the way back to my throne, that is. In the meantime, though, let us continue our search for Brahmos. He knows things. Gotcha. We're going to go ahead and spend time talking to everybody now.